Hey, Caster's Derek here, Big Six Clan. Has this ever happened to you? Yes! I got an adventure lab! Oh my gosh. How do I even start this? Well, that is what we're gonna be doing today on Behind the Cache. All right, so you were awarded an adventure lab and you don't know what to do with it. First off, congratulations. And if you haven't gotten an adventure lab yet, you might still get one, um, but you have to go through the opt-in process to be able to get one. So look at that. Um, there may be an email coming out to you soon if you're a premium member so you can opt in to get an adventure lab. They're gonna be releasing them all throughout the year, so you may get one. But first off, one of the first things you need to do is check the guidelines when you get your adventure lab. That's gonna give you your first basis, and we're gonna be going through those guidelines today on Behind the Cache. And I'm also gonna show you some of the prelim stuff that you need to do before you even sit down at the computer to start building the Adventure Lab through the builder. So the first guideline is to physically require players to visit the locations where the adventure is. And one of my locations that I'm putting together is right here behind me. You know, being in Memphis, you gotta do something with Memphis's most famous resident, you know, Elvis. There wasn't one here yet, and I thought it was perfect to do it. So I chose Elvis, and there's a lot of stuff that goes into putting these adventure labs together, and we're gonna kinda of touch on those as we're going through this. But remember, your first guideline is the players have to come to the locations to be able to find the answers. So let's get this done. I'm gonna start taking some pictures of this, because I'm gonna need those pictures to lay into the program when I start putting all the adventures together. So I've gotten the pictures of this location and I've also figured out what my question's gonna be to put in to the adventure when they get to this location. So that's the other thing you need to do. As you're visiting these locations, you gotta scout them out, but you gotta look for what your question's gonna be. So I got this one, now we're gonna go check out another adventure. Also, I gotta grab coordinates of this location so I can put those coordinates onto the adventure lab itself. Remember, when you visit each of these locations, when you're scouting them, get your coordinates, get your pictures, and find out what you want to do as your question. And if you can't figure out a question then, with those pictures, maybe you can come up with a question later. So the next two guidelines are, first, you need to be able to get to the location most of the week, and also, just like in geocaching, when you're placing a tanner, you need the landowner's permission or the land manager. So when I was awarded my Adventure Lab here in Memphis, I already knew that I wanted to do it on Elvis. Now one of the things I did before I even came out here and started looking at any of these locations was that I went online and I did a lot of research trying to find some different locations that I wanted to do. I already knew that there was going to be several locations that had to be on the Adventure Lab, but through my research I found some locations that were a little bit less known and I thought would make this a really great story. So the next guideline is don't put a physical object or container a part of the adventure. Now you can have a bonus cache after the adventure, but on the actual location you're not to be putting a cache where the adventure lab actually is. Um, that way it keeps it from double dipping as you would say. So you get an adventure lab credit, uh, finding the cache, and then you get an actual cache. So you can't do that. The next one is cause no harms to plants, animals, or property. And the last one, adhere to all local laws. Now those are the guidelines for the locations, but now there's also some guidelines for the content. Now the content that you use in an adventure lab, you need to own it. And also it needs to be suitable for all ages because adventure labs are designed for the entire family. And that is something that is really cool, just another aspect of making memories and getting together and learning and going places as a family. So I hope this has helped you if you have been awarded an Adventure Lab to where to start off with. So let's review one more time. Start off by going over the guidelines. And if you need to see more of those guidelines, and they may change, I'm going to keep those updated down in the description below. So check out the guidelines down there if you miss those. Also, 
do your research. Find out where you want to go, find out the locations, and go to those locations to scout them out. Take lots of pictures because you're going to need the pictures in the next step when you go back to the computer and you start building in the uh, Adventure Lab app builder. And that's what we're going to cover next time here on Behind the Cache is how to build the lab in the app. So, hey, thank you for joining me today on Behind the Cache. I hope you found this useful and get out there, find some adventure labs, have fun, all right? So, but hey, don't go anywhere yet. Go check out one of these other videos just right over here and check out the story behind the cache.